In this video, I'm going to save you hours of debugging time by showing you how to install Python 3 on Windows the right way. I'll show you both how to install Python and how to troubleshoot and overcome common issues along the way. Let's go. First, you're going to want to open up your favorite browser. I'm going to choose Brave. Go to the search bar and type in python.org. Once you're here, hover over the downloads button, go to this download for Windows section and click on Python 3.12.2 or whatever your latest Python version is. Click that, go ahead and save this. Once that's done, click on your exe file that you just downloaded. Now, a very important step on this first window, make sure to go down here and click add python.exe to path. I'll show you why later. Then click on install now. All right, once that's done installing, go ahead and close it. Press the Windows key, type in CMD, and this will open up your command prompt to make sure that it's installed properly. So first, to make sure that it's working, you should be able to run the following commands. We're gonna type in first py. Here we can see that our Python version is properly installed if you see the correct version here. We're gonna exit that. You can also type in Python and you should see it here. One quick thing to remember is that this is a tutorial only for Windows. On Mac, you have to run Python 3 pretty much every single time unless you're in a virtual environment, but that's for another video. If you don't see these commands, that's because you did not click the add python.exe to path. If that's the case, you have two options. One, you can uninstall and reinstall Python and then click that box. Two is the following. Press your Windows key, type in edit, environment variables for your account, press enter, and you will see this environment variables window on your computer. Now, this might look scary, but I'll show you exactly what to write. In this first list, so user variables for your username, go ahead and double click on this one that says path. Once you're here, if those commands were not working, what you will not see are these two paths right here. This points towards the Python installation that you just downloaded. If you don't see these, that's because you didn't click that checkbox once again, and you'll need to add these to your path if you want this to work. So basically you'll just write from C users here, you'll replace it with your username. My username is of course, Zach P. App data, local, programs, Python, Python 3.12, scripts, and the one that just goes to Python 3.12. Another thing that you'll want to check whenever you install Python is to make sure that your pip version is aligned with the latest version that you have installed on your computer. To do that, go ahead and type the following. pip dash capital V, press enter. And then you'll see the current pip version you have installed as well as at the end of the line here, your Python version. Now, if you don't see your current Python version here, so say these days you installed, I don't know, Python 3.9 or 3.11 before and you wanted to upgrade. If you do not see your current Python version here and you want to fix that, we'll need to do the following. Press Windows, go back to your environment variables. Once again, click on path. And you should see another path for your old version of Python here. If you see a duplicate of this, that is a lower Python version than what you just installed, go ahead and delete those and that should resolve your problem. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments. With that being said, I hope you found this video useful. My name is Zach Plochet and I teach people how to build software. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.